Hi, I'm George Wagner, and I'm introducing a brand new product for archers, a bowdometer. It's an item that can go on your bow. It's designed to count your shots continuously so you know how many shots you've taken on that particular bow. Um, it also has a resettable session counter, so if you're shooting today, you want to know how many shots you took, it'll give you that number. But more importantly, it's got another number on there that we call an execution index. What it is is a number that's created through the shock and movement that you do when you're executing a shot. And that number, doesn't matter what it comes up as, the key is stay as consistent as you can to that number shot after shot. If you deviate from that, you've done something different. And in archery, doing something different means you hit somewhere else. So that is um, the idea of the unit in its initial form. It will do down the road a lot of other things, but right now we're introducing it that way. And the way it works, I'll do a slight demonstration. This one's set up. I am the uh, bow, so, so this one, I go like that, it gives me a number. And then it gives me, it adds to my shot count and does that. And it also gives me an average of how many I've done through the day, through that session. So, it mounts on a bow. Can I have one here? Sure we can. Very simply, can mount with Velcro straps. It can mount with a bracket that will be available for it. Um, it uh, weighs under two ounces, so it won't have any impact at all on your bow or the performance of the bow. It's not going to change the balance or anything else. The idea is maintain that consistency. Other advantages, you can, comp uh, on social media, you can uh, let your friends know. You could literally compete heads up with somebody on the other side of the country because you can send them the results. It takes all of this information and downloads it to your phone. Keeps track of every shot session that you do. So uh, you can look at that, pick up your bow next week and compare to what you did last week and, uh, or this week. So it's a handy unit for that. Uh, I guess that kind of covers everything in a nutshell, the basics.